Hi guys, welcome back to the Smart Process channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through the SCM120 range and discussing the different versions of the meters, their applications, their differences, uh, their benefits, and what one is right for you. So all of the SCM120 series in the box come with a manual um, and two terminal covers for once you've wired up the terminals as part of the MID approval. So these meters, they're all MID approved as well, apart from the millivolt CT version, which we'll go over later on. And the RJ12 version, um, the SDM120 CT RJ, there's an MID approved version and non MID approved version. But other than that, the rest of the series are all MID approved, unless stated otherwise. So first up, we've got the SDM120A. So this is the most basic version of the SDM120 series. It's the analog meter. So it's not, it's not even a digital display, which is uh, quite rare for these days. So as you can see, it's an analog meter and it's just simple kilowatt hours, total kilowatt hours. So it's just a basic kilowatt hour meter analog and it's got pulse on there. Um, and that's as basic as it, as it comes really. It's single module, all the SM120 CTs are single module DIN rail mounted. And um, yeah, the wiring on this one, I won't go over the wiring, but when you are installing the meters, try to refer to the lasered wiring on the side of the meters if possible. If you're unsure on the wiring or if for some reason it doesn't have this laser on the side, just get in touch with us either on 01268 773 422 or inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk and we'll send you over the correct wiring diagram for the relevant version that you've got. So the application for this meter is really any check meter scenario, 45 amp direct connected, so any circuit that you want to measure, any load that you want to measure that is 45 amp or less, this meter is suitable. It's direct connected as well, so no CT, so it's essentially an inline meter, also referred to. Good for anything, any kind of check meter scenario if you just want to check how much energy you're actually using on the circuit, whether it's a hot tub, a specific circuit, you know, anything that's 45 amp or less, which is generally domestic dwellings or domestic applications. Next we have the SCM120D. Which is essentially the digital version of the SCM120A. It's the same single module DIN rail mounted as per the rest of the series. This is uh, also 45 amp as per the rest of the series other than the CT operated versions. Um, so this one's got a digital display, no buttons. Again, just check meter, kilowatt hour check meter. It's got a pulse on there. Um, MID approved again and suitable for the same applications as the SEM120A. So this is actually one of our most cost effective meters that we offer as well. So in terms of cost effectiveness, this would be at the top of the list ranking number one for single phase. All these meters are single phase by the way as well. The SEM120 series, all single phase. So yeah, this is the most cost effective single phase meter that we offer. So the next up on the list is the SEM120DB. And the difference between the D and the DB, so the D is the one we just covered, is the DB has backlit display. So other than that, they're the exact same meter, just the DB has backlit display, which basically means um, once you get to the meter, you can see it better in darker scenarios. I mean, you can still see this one fine, but obviously if it's very dark, you might want a backlit display to be able to view the readings. So the SM120DB is actually really good for heat pumps as well. We have a few customers that use these meters in their heat pumps to monitor the amount of energy that's being used to actually convert the cold air into hot air to, to heat your home. So next up is the SCM120 Mod Mid. Again, same as the rest of the range, 45 amp, dim rail mounted, mid approved. It's got a pulse. But the difference between the SCM120 Mod Mid and the rest is this is more of a multi-function meter. Now, if we get this one out of the box. So you can see on this meter, the SM120 Mod Mid, it's got a button. So this allows you to scroll through the display once the button is pressed. It's got different parameters to the other versions that we've covered so far. So this meter displays voltage, current, which is amps, active power, kilowatts, power factor, PF, frequency in Hertz, input active energy, kilowatt hours, 
M, uh, sorry, export active energy kilowatt hours and total active energy kilowatt hours. So as you can see, this SEM120 mod mid has got a lot more parameters on there and essentially more functions. This has got a Modbus RS485, so it can also be used for remote monitoring. It can be used to be wired back to BMS um, in a, a power room. It can be used to go back to a gateway or a data logger for remote monitoring. So this meter, yeah, is a, it's a little bit smarter than the others that we've covered so far. The applications that is suitable for, we just covered some of them, remote monitoring in, in a, you know, in a building that goes back to a BMS. So just remote monitoring any circuit that can have 45 amp current or less. So yeah, it can go back to a BMS. It can be go, go back to gateway or data logger for remote monitoring and it's good for it's good in data centers as long as the the supply is 45 amp or less and again it can be good if you're if you have multiple of these in your home you can have them wired up to a cost effective data logger and you could essentially remote monitor your home applications if you wanted to reads import and export which is handy for solar pv or any application in which you'll be exporting energy so that's the stm 120 mod mid a little bit of a step up from the other meters multi-function and suitable for input export scenarios as well. Next is the SCM120 mod non-mid, um, sometimes referred to as the SCM120M or the SCM120C, so there's a few part goes for this one, believe it or not, but um, we cover all of them, so if you were to say any of those to us, we'd know what you're talking about. Certain people in the industry may not know, but yeah, SCM120C, SCM120M or SCM120 mod non-mid. So that's what this meter is. Essentially the same as the SCM120 mod mid, just non mid. So if for some reason you want a non mid meter, then this would be the non mid version of this. Just to quickly cover mid approval, um, MID, the MID directive was a legislation that came out in 2016 in the UK, a government legislation to essentially say that a meter has to be regulated and tested to be proven accurate because it turned out that many people started to export energy back to the grid, but once you then charge the energy company for your exported energy, they want to make sure that what you're charging is accurate. Um, so that's why MRD approval was introduced. Next up, we've got the SCM120 M bus mid. So this meter is essentially the same as the SCM120 mod mid, but instead of Modbus 485 as the communication protocol, this has got M bus. So MBUS is mainly used with gateways or data loggers that are also used in conjunction with utility meters, such as water meters, heat meters, or gas meters. So if you're remote monitoring utility meters, you'll probably be using MBUS, in which case the MBUS version of this meter series can also work with the same data logger. So you might have a data logger that only accepts MBUS input, in which case this is the one to pick. Moving on, we've got the SCM120 CT Pulse. So we're now moving on to the CT versions of the meter series. So the difference is the others were all 45 amp direct connected. So they'll be sitting in line. Say this is your single phase circuit, live and neutral, live and neutral. That's how the direct connected meters would essentially be sitting on the load. But with these ones, you would have a separate supply, five or six amp MCB to wire the live and neutral into this meter. And then you'll have a CT current transformer, which will be wrapped around your live cable on the circuit that you wish to monitor. And then there'll be two little cables, S1 and S2 from the CT that go back to the meter to give it the current reading. So you have a voltage input, you have a current input. Current comes from the CT and the voltage comes from your MCB from the board. Um, and that's, that's how you basically get the kilowatt hours or the kilowatts and the kilowatt hours on this meter. So that's how it calculates it. So the CT meters are handy, uh, I'm sure most of you know, but the CT meters are mainly handy for, handy for retrofit. So if there's only an existing load that you wish to monitor, it's easy to monitor using CTs. A lot of the time as well, um, I mean, this particular series only goes up to 45 amp. Most direct connected meters only go up to about 100 amp. So if your load is then over 100 amp that you wish to monitor, you'd have to use a CT operated meter. The CT versions of the STM120 series goes up to 600 amp maximum. So you can have a 600 to 5 amp CT. 5 amp is the secondary. 
and that will communicate fine with the meter and work out your kilowatt hours for you. Applications that these are best used for is, again, any check meter scenario, the SDM120CT Pulse is still multifunction, so it can still give you the multifunction readings that the SDM120 Mod Mid will give you, which we already covered. It's got the button here to go through the different parameters. And um, yeah, so it's good for any check meter scenario. Obviously with this one, you can go up to 600 amp, as we said, whereas the direct connector is only 45 amps. That's a benefit of this one. And any check meter scenario, um, it's pulse. So there's no real communication unless you want to use a pulse logger, a pulse counter. So just reading from the face of the meter, your most basic single phase CT operated meter. Moving on to one of our best sellers, the SDM120CT Mod Mid. The reason why this is such a good seller is because it's compatible with many solar PV um, scenarios. So many inverter brands, it's compatible with them, which is a, a good selling point because not many meters are or they're generally specified and hard to come by. But the Eastron SDM120CT Mod Mid is compatible with SunSync and Solis inverters. And um, for that reason, they're, they're quite common in the UK, especially SunSync is one of the leading solar PV brands. So the SDM120CT goes hand in hand with that. And the reason why you use the SDM120CT in a solar PV setup is when the inverter is situated too far away from the incoming supplier, that you can't have a CT wrapped around the incoming supplier to feed back to the inverter because the distance is too long and you can only extend the cable of the CT especially when it's five amp secondary, to five meters. Once you extend it over five meters, it starts to affect the accuracy of the CT, and no one wants a, an inaccurate device, an inaccurate instrument. So the way that this works is, say for example, you've got your inverter situated in an outbuilding, such as a gar garage, um, you could have the SCM120 CT and a CT on your main incoming supply situated near the board, and then you can run the Modbus cable, because this has got Modbus, SDM120CT Mod Miss, so Modbus RS485. You can run the Modbus cable from the meter 1200 meters, so 1200 meters, which is obviously quite a long distance. And that allows you to extend the connection from the inverter to the, the main incoming supplier. And then this meter will just tell the inverter the kilowatts and it will tell, you know, and it will allow the inverter to manage the energy of what's coming in from the solar panels. So I just touched a little bit more on the meter. It's essentially the same as the Pulse version, but it's got Modbus, so that's the difference. It gives you all the same parameters, same size. Again, can go up to 600 amp with a CT, so not always used for solar PV. Mainly when it's used with solar PV, it's used with a 100 to 5 amp CT, because most of the time in a house you're not pulling more than 100 amps, a lot of the time it's rated at 83 amps. So yeah, 100 to 5 amp CT often used with this with the solar side of things. But if you're not using it for solar, if you're using it for something else, um, a different single phase supplier where you're gonna be pulling up to 600 amps, that is this meter is capable of doing so. We also have an MBUS version of the meter in the case that you're using a data logger or gateway with utility meters going back to it as well for remote monitoring. This kind of meter is also used in residential EV charging scenarios. It can be used for DLB, so dynamic load balancing, where you want to monitor the incoming supply and then you also want to monitor what the charger is pulling. So you don't want the charger to think that it's got 83 amps available when really you've got your lights turned on, you've got your washing machine going. So then if you, you know, if the charger was to pull you know, as much, as much as it wanted, as much current as it wanted, it could trip out the rest of your house. So you have your clothes half washed or half dried, etc. So this meter can help with dynamic load balancing or just general monitoring as well. Finally, we've got the SDM120CTRJ. We've got it um, rubber banded together with the CT that comes with it, which is the ESCTRJ16. So this meter is also very good for solar PV. The difference between the SCM120CTRJ and the SCM120CT Mod Mid is purely the CT connection. So we'll get it out to show you. So actually all the terminals are different, my apologies. So the, the live and neutral terminals are essentially little catch terminals as well, rather than terminals that you wire into. So that's for quicker and, and ease of installation. And then, here you've got the CT connection, which is a RJ 
12 literally plug in, so plug and play. Essentially part of the easy click range. So we'll show you the CT as well that goes with it. So this is the RJ16. As you can see, it's literally a miniature split core CT. It opens up, wraps around the incoming supplier. Here you've got the RJ12 connection that clips straight into the meter. So no wiring involved, literally just plug and play. It prevents any error during installation. So it, it prevents you from wiring S1 into S2 and S2 into S1. So ease of installation. Um, these CTs, particularly with this plug, are 100 milliamp. So this is 100 milliamp output essentially. So the input is 100 amp and the output is 100 milliamp. So this meter accepts 100 milliamp CT input. So the benefit of that is it's, it's more accurate because for every 100 amps you'll have 100 milliamp sent to the meter. Whereas you, usually for every 100 amps you'd have 5 amps. Obviously 5 amps are a lot bigger than 100 milliamps. The STM120 CTRJ comes in mid and non mid versions. So, depending if you're going to be using it for billing, make sure you've got the MILE approved version. Whether you're billing a tenant or you're billing someone else, or whether you're sending energy back to the grid to claim some funds back from the grid. So, as you can see, and as we mentioned at the start, this um, meter is rubber banded and tied together with the CT. The reason for that is because it, this meter is only available as a bundle, so it prevents any confusion with trying to match different CTs to the meter, especially the fact that it's a plug and play. You know, you can get 100 milliamp secondary CTs, but if it doesn't have the RJ12 connection, it's not going to be compatible with this version of the meter. So that's why we sell it as a bundle. It's only available as a bundle, this particular meter version. But we do also offer bundles for all the other CT operated versions of the meter as well. So you can find on our website, we've got the SCM120 CT Mod Mid and the CT paired together as a bundle at a discounted rate in comparison to buying them separately. So obviously today's video was to cover the whole SCM120 series. There are a couple meters that we don't have in stock at the moment, so they wasn't featured in this video. One being the SCM120 CT MBUS Mid, which again is the same as the SCM120 CT Mod Mid, but MBUS, which we've already covered. And then the other one being the SCM120 CT MV. This is the millivolt version of the CT operating meter. So it has got Modbus, but it's millivolt rather than five amp input. This is another benefit for higher accuracy monitoring, but it's very, it's not very common in the UK at all, which is why we don't have it in stock at the moment. I, I believe it's essentially made to order. So yeah, those are the two meters we don't have at the moment for this series. But other than that, all the ones that are stocked and sold in the UK are here. And um, yeah, there are a few meters that are floating about in the market at the moment, at the time of recording this video, which is December, 2023. There are a few meters floating about in the market that are not stocked or sold in the UK due to inverter companies and other companies importing them in from China. Um, it's something out of our control, unfortunately, but we do supply direct alternatives for any of those versions that are compatible with the relevant um, inverter companies such as Sunsync and Solis. So if you have any questions about that, just get in touch and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much for watching and appreciate your time if you made it this far. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or get in touch on um, email or, or on the phone. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and uh, stay tuned to the channel. Thank you.